Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. And this is a Raven Space mailbag. My name is Jason, and this is where we answer your questions about the Baltimore Ravens every single week. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll hop right in. Again, if you want to send questions, please send them to theravenspace at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen and it'll also be in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to keep getting great Baltimore Ravens videos. And so the first question is from Mikey, and Mikey asks, in your opinion, what do you think the state of our offensive line is? Who do you think will be the starting five? And Mikey, if you've seen some of my other content, um, you know, I give my opinion on the offensive line, and I think it's in a terrible state. I think we're in trouble if we go into the offensive line where we are now. Um, hopefully, we sign some offensive linemen who can come and help the Ravens out. But as of today, um, our offensive line is in a terrible state. I think that we have two stars on the line. Of course, Yonda, who in my opinion is the best offensive lineman in the league. Um, and then we have Ronnie Stanley, who is an up-and-coming left tackle, and I think will be a great player in this league uh, once he matures all the way. And it usually takes Lyman, you know, two or three years to get to where they're going to be great. So, but I do think he'll be a great one. Now, everywhere else, I have problems. So I'll start from least concern to highest concern. Um, I'm very concerned that Alex Lewis won't be the same guy after his injury. Um, and he's currently at the left guard spot. I'm a little worried how good he'll be. He was good last season, but coming into this season, I'm a little bit worried. I'm more worried about the center spot because literally we have a zero there. Like there's no one there who will play. I believe Urschel played a little bit last year. Um, so I would like us to get a, a center to come in. Um, I do think Nick Mango will be a Baltimore Raven before it's said and done. Uh, but right now we don't have anyone there. I'm worried about that. Um, and of course, right tackle. I'm super worried about that because I think as time has gone on, the only difference between right and left tackle um, is where the quarterback's blind side is, right? So before at right tackle, you had, you know, pass rushers who weren't as good as on the other side. But that's not the case anymore. Uh, pass rushers move back and forth, different schemes. Um, for example, Vaughn Miller plays over the right side and you know, consistently. He doesn't move. Well, he doesn't move. And if he does move, he starts over there and stunts somewhere else. But you have to stick him. That's going to be tough for anyone to do. Left tackle, right tackle. And right tackle is usually the least talented of the left and right tackles. So I'm very worried about that. I don't know who's going to be there to replace them. I haven't seen any rumors coming in about that. So I'm, I'm nervous about that as well. And if I had to give you a prediction, I would say, of course, you got Ronnie at left. Um, I would say you still have Lewis at guard, left guard. I would say Nick Mango does come in at be that center position. Of course, you have Yonda at right guard. And then for the right tackle, I don't think a new person will come in. I think it'll be someone who's in-house. And I think one of the new rookies are going to be moved to the right tackle position. Um, I don't know which one yet. Um, I think people like Saragusa more. So I think Sergusa has a chance to either be pushed to right tackle or they might even put him at right guard and move Yonder out to right tackle. So we'll see. Mikey, thank you for the question. And again, please send another question in. Um, I know everyone loves offensive line talk, so uh, send another question in. And then the next question, it comes from Tom. And Tom asks, do you think we will start week one with Chris Moore at wide receiver or will we pick up somebody in free agency? If so, who could we get? So uh, this question kind of jumps into another question. So I'm going to do this one first and then go into the other one. Um, I do not think that the Ravens will start the season with Chris Moore in the third receiver spot. Um, of course, the first two receivers go to Bashad and Wallace. So Moore will be the third, um, often called the slot. Um, but the way that um, offenses are now, they don't want to call it slot X, Z, Y um, receivers, stuff like that. Uh, but... More right now as a third. I don't think he will be. I do think that we're going to go out and get somebody, someone else to, you know, jump in and mix it up. Um, and there are a couple things I'm hearing right now. Uh, one is Anquan Bolden, of course. Uh, two is Victor Cruz. And three is Eric Decker. And so um, those are the three that I think we have a chance of. Now, Eric Decker is not released yet from his team, but there are rumors that it's coming. 
Um, but we don't really know as of yet. But of the short ones we know, we have a chance at Bowden and Cruz. And I think Bowden will be here. Um, I think it's either us or the Lions. And I think he'll be here to be a Baltimore Raven. Do you think we could sign Bowden for a reunion? If so, who would it impact the most, Wallace or Perryman? And then side question, how did you become a Ravens fan? Thank you, Brandon, for both of the questions. So I'll answer the, the side question first. It's the easiest. Um, I'm born in Baltimore, born and raised in Baltimore. Um, if you really want to know, I'm from the east side of Baltimore. Um, and I love football. I played football growing up. Um, I played football all the way throughout until I wasn't good enough to play anymore in college. Um, so, you know, again, really, really do love football. I've been loving them my whole life. I've been the coach for Little League and everything like that. So, so I grew up watching the Ravens and different things like that. And, um, like I remember being a little kid when the Ravens, you know, first came into the league and different things like that. So I've been a Ravens fan my whole life from Baltimore, raised in Baltimore, love the Ravens. So that's how I became a Ravens fan. Um, the, so, and then to answer your first question, uh, I do think that Bowden has a chance to be back for the Ravens. I think it's about a 75% chance. Um, it's either us or the Lions right now. I don't think he wants to go play for the Lions. Um, I think he does like Joe. I think they had a good connection. Um, and like he loved Baltimore when he was here. So I do think he'll be back um, in the purple and black. Now, I don't think it would necessarily impact Wallace or Perryman. It would impact Campanero the most. More after that. And then after that, it would inf it would affect more tight ends than those two. And you got to hear me out. So first, Caminero, if Bowden comes, Caminero won't get on the field unless the plays are especially drawn up for him like we did last year. Um, Chris Moore will be affected a little bit because he'll go down from the three receiver to the four receiver. Um, and then after that, Bowden will run the same routes as many of the tight ends will run. Um, Bowden won't be running, um, you know, go routes, which Wallace and Perryman will be running. Bowden will keep running some slant routes, but, you know, I know I talk about Wallace a lot saying that the only route he knows how to run is a slant route, but he's great at running that slant route. Like He's, the best, in my opinion, the best slant runner in the NFL. Um, I know, again, you guys don't give a, a hoots about, you know, being the best slant runner. You care about who's the best post runner, different things like that, but he's great at running the slant route. And um, so I think he'll affect more of the tight ends, the same way Steve Smith did last year. Um, so, you know, because there's not only so much room in the middle of the field, right? You want to spread the offense out so you could spread the defense out. But yeah, but I don't think it really will impact Wallace or Perryman that much. But thank you for your question, Brandon. I appreciate it. Now we're going to go to our next question from Grant, which talks about a different receiver. Um, and the question is, what is your prediction for Bashar Perryman this season? Touchdowns, receptions, and yards. Thanks. Love the videos. Thank you so much for your question, Grant. So we're going to look at what he had last year. I'll tell you guys, and I'll see where he'll be at this year. Um, so last year, he had 33 receptions for 499 yards and three touchdowns. Um, I think touchdowns will go up. Actually, I think all the stats will go up. Now, you need to figure out where he'll be in the offense, like how much will he be used. You also need to figure out uh, how good our offense will be throwing the football. So my prediction for Bashar Perryman is this. Uh, again, you guys can hold me to it. Five touchdowns, 70, 75 receptions for 900 yards around there. So I feel good about that. Five touchdowns, 70 receptions, 900 yards. Um, I think he'll be the number one receiver this year. Because I, I do think even already, he's just as talented as running routes as Mike Wallace. Um, uh, and he also has the the size that Wallace doesn't really have. Um, so I think that it will be, that's, that's a good stat line. So hold me to it. I think that's my prediction. Thank you so much, Grant. Uh, thanks for the love. I really appreciate it. And then the last question of the day comes from Jack. Uh, thank you so much, Jack. And don't worry, guys. I did get other questions. Please keep sending questions in to theravenspace at gmail.com, and I will answer all of them. Um, and then this question is, what trade do you think the Baltimore Ravens should do? What, what do you give, and what do you receive? 
And so, Jack, um, this question I had to actually do some in-depth research on, you know, and usually I do research for other things like the um, the Raven Space Dailies. I have to go figure stuff out. I'm going to start giving you guys features. Where I'm going to do research at different things like that. My mailbag, I, you know, kind of just go how I feel, do a little bit, but not a lot. Now, this one I did a lot, right? So I have to go around the league and see what teams have, what teams don't have, and what I think should happen. So what I think, Jack, is that the best trade would be Eric Decker. So the Ravens go to the Jets and say, hey, you want to get rid of him? We'll take Eric Decker and we'll give you a tight end, right? Because the Ravens have so many tight ends. The Jets don't have any good tight ends. Um, and I think that with our tight ends, we have so many of them. We're going to cut some of them anyway. Let's try to get something for them. Um, and so, you know, a tight end, a fourth or third round, third is too high. A tight end, a fourth or fifth round um, for Eric Decker would be something I think the Ravens would like to do. I think the Jets would like to do it um, again. The Jets think they're going to lose Eric Decker anyway. The Ravens know they can't keep all these tight ends. So it's a win-win for both teams. So that's what I think. I think the trade that we should do is go to the Jets, say, hey, give us Eric Decker. We'll give you one of our tight ends in a four or five, and we'll get it done. Um, I don't think it matters which tight end. Uh, I do think all the tight ends are very um, close to the same talent level. Um, it might be hard to trade Ben Watson. Um, and Pitta because Ben is old and Pitta is injured a lot. But I think that you could get the trade done. That we have other uh, tight ends. If you want to give them up, we could. Again, so. And uh, Jack, thank you so much. And that, like I said, that was the last question of today's mailbag. Again, thank you so much. Please subscribe to the Raven Space if you're not subscribed for great Baltimore Ravens content. Also, again, send your questions to theravenspace at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much. And uh, go Ravens.